first read this gospel last yesterday, the first thing that came to my mind was Angelo Roncalli, who became John the 23rd. The man had a wicked sense of humor. In one of the stories when he was being interviewed, a reporter asked him how many people worked in the Vatican. He paused a moment and said about half. <laughs> but when he was nuncio to France, there was another great story where he was sitting at a banquet and seated directly across from him who, who, was a woman who was showing a lot of décolletage. And the person sitting next to him said, Your Eminence, aren't you a little scandalized by the woman sitting across from you? And he just turned to the person and said, I'm more concerned about the people watching me watching her. <laughs> At the dinner, everybody's watching Jesus to see what he would do. They were trying to trap him. They were trying to get him in trouble. But what does he do? He fools them all by curing the man with the dropsy and goes, aha, I did it on the Sabbath, but wouldn't you do the same thing if somebody whom you loved and cared for had an issue that had to be dealt with? Why wait till tomorrow when I could do it today? And because he caught them in their nastiness, they had nothing to say. You know what? When people do good things for a good reason, even though we don't think it's right, I think we should just mind our own business and let the person do what they are called to do. As Paul said in the reading, first reading, I don't lie about what I say. What I tell you is the truth about the risen Lord. That's what we should be concerned about. Not who's looking at whom, not who's doing what they should be doing, but mainly minding our own business. And also, like Ron Colley, John the 23rd, having a good sense of humor. Thank you for participating in this production of our virtual mass. Your presence means so much. Every day, so many parishioners connect to OLPH through the digital ministry. The digital ministry is one of almost 80 ministries supported by the parish. That's why your support of the parish is crucial, so we can continue to have the resources to fund all of our ministries that touch the lives of many. Thank you for watching, continue to watch, and thanks again for your support.